हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल आई पूजा मिश्रा वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग एट डी वाई पी आई ई एम आर दिस इज द वीडियो फॉर वीक फोर ऑन इंटरनेशनल एफ डी पी ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सस्टेनेबल सिटीज यूजिंग आई ओ टी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग टू यू नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट वीडियो नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दैट इज the details of week 1 video here we want to brief about how smart sustainable city works with the help of iot ai and machine learning to improve the quality of life efficiency of urban operations with respect to social economical and environmental aspects now in view of that i would like to explain what we have studied in week 2 video in that what are the different challenges solutions and contributions related sustainable city the outcome of this video is students will be able to establish an environmentally responsible and sustainable approach to development ability to address the climate change and environmental issues understand and improve the quality of life of the citizen able to understand responsibility to reduce to emission now here what are the different smart city indicators with respect to different iso standards in sustainable development iso 37120 is have the indicator for city services and the quality of life iso 37122 they are specifically for only smart city iso 37123 they are specifically the indicators for the city now here is the information of different iso standards and the technology standards for the use of smart city by using the different innovation system architect now we will come to the different ways to reduce a city's carbon footprint there are different ways from which we can just describe few of them the first one is use smart meters smart meters offer huge potential benefits to the environment their advanced technology records energy consumption in short intervals of an hour or less than automatically sends meter readings to the energy supplier with their in home displays smart meters give consumer real time information and feedback on their energy usage how much it costs and potential impact on the environment it helps to integrate the renewable energy sources such as wind mills and solar panels etc now we move to the develop better public transportation a properly optimized public transportation system is one of the most critical areas to consider when examining the ways to reduce a city's carbon footprint now next we will move to optimize the building make the building weather tight by adding the weather stripping ceiling elevator houses on the roof tightening loose windows and pocketing outlets provide a healthy indoor environment that is free of mold moisture and carbon monoxide by installing a ventilation system use prefer glazed windows with fiberglass or wood frame add new or improve existing insulation now we will see how to calculate what is the computation method of carbon footprint in sustainable city we consider the example of housing for calculating the housing footprint we need to work out our personal share of home energy use water use waste disposal this means that collecting the different figures from the home like the annual energy water and waste and dividing it by the number of people in our home to get your individual share here how we have gathered the information and we have multiplied the personal usage by an emission factor to calculate your footprint here there are different categories related to housing where we can find out the different calculation of carbon footprint like electricity natural gas 
fuel oil, LPG, waste, water. There are the different formulas which we can use in order to calculate. For example, if we consider the electricity or we consider the water, how we can calculate the CO2 emission? If we are considering the water, we have to know that how many liters per day the water is being multiplied by annual year means 365 days into emission factor. That gives you the emission CO2 per year. So each of the usages are per person per year. For example, if your home uses 3000 kilowatt of electricity a year and you share it with two other people, you share the electricity use of 10 kilowatt per hour. So in all, the calculation you need to make sure your input is in the correct unit, whether that will be in the terms of functional units or in terms of the time period, the input and intensity also need to match up. For instance, if you are using terms of natural gas, then the intensity should be per term, not per gas or per liter. So this was, I have got the information of different 20 largest carbon footprint countries by CO2 emission in the world of 2000 per capita. Now, here I would like to explore that CO2 emission related to smart cities. What exactly it is, the CO2 emissions rising in this diagram, it shows the peaking of emissions in 2020 is a crucial for achieving the temperature targets. The study says that by 2030, around 57 countries representing about 60% of global emissions will pay. Now, this is sustainable cities, consist of the socio-economic and environmental sustainability. Environmental sustainability consists of low emissions, air quality, waste management, economic sustainability, employment, business, investment. Social sustainability consists of health, housing, and health. Okay. Now, here we will consider the urban prosperity which includes the different productivity, infrastructure, quality of life, equity and social inclusion, environmental sustainability with respect to different government, institution, laws and urban planning. Thank you.